Hi everyone, I'm Brian with OBDM PC Audio Labs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and configure your external MIDI devices in Persona Studio One. I'm using Persona Studio One for Professional, but this will be the same in other versions of Studio One as well. There's two ways to do this. You can either click on Configure External Devices from the Start page in Studio One, or you can go to the Options in Studio One and then navigate from the Options dialog box to the External Devices tab. External devices is where we're going to set up external MIDI devices, and I have yet to set up a device, so I'm gonna be doing this from scratch today. Now, first of all, in order to do that, all I need to do is click on the Add button, bottom left-hand corner right here. When I click on that, I'll get the Add Devices dialog box, and now I can start browsing around and looking for my MIDI device inside of the left-hand column in Studio One. Now, on that left-hand column, I see three options, new keyboard, new instrument, and new control surface, and then I have a number of folders. These folders are all named after various manufacturers of various devices, and I can expand those folders if I would like and look for the device that matches my device that I'll be connecting to Studio One and that's connected to my computer. If I see that device, I can click to select it. Its manufacturer and device name will be automatically populated, and then I can populate the receive from and send to pull-down menus in order to designate where I will be receiving that MIDI data from and then sending that MIDI data to. Now, MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and it allows me to connect external devices to my computer and to my digital audio workstation and send musical note data into my software and record that data. It also allows me to control various other things in my software, uh, which we can talk about in later videos. For today, I'm going to be setting up my M-Audio Axiom MIDI keyboard. Now next, I'm going to take a look at the MIDI channel setup inside of Studio One. Now MIDI channels allow me to decide on which channel a MIDI device is sending its note data into Studio One. Now I can opt to have my device send MIDI data in on only a specific channel or on all channels. I'm going to select all channels, but if I have multiple devices, I would probably opt to send that data in on only one channel. Now next up is the setup of the MIDI input port, and this is the input port from which I will be sending MIDI data from my MIDI device into Studio One. And I see this get a little confusing every, every once in a while when I work with some folks, so I just want to kind of point this out one more time. Receive from is the MIDI data coming from the device and into Studio One. So just think of a freeway and cars driving into Studio One, that's your MIDI data coming into Studio One. You're going to select the port that comes out of your MIDI device and then sends that MIDI data into Studio One. That can be a little confusing every once in a while, but as long as you set that properly, you'll be good to go. Next, you can filter data if you'd like. This is for filtering out aftertouch program change, pitch bend, and controller information. Most folks aren't going to need to select one of these, but some devices you may find that you need to do that, especially if you're getting too much MIDI data or strange MIDI data, things like that. Finally, the send to port. Now, most of the time you're not going to need to select a send to port. And the simple reason for that is that most of us probably are not going to send MIDI data out of Studio One to other devices. But if you're going to control other devices using MIDI data from out of Studio One, you can send the MIDI data out from your instrument and then back out to another port if you would like. So that's an easy way to be able to control other devices while using that piece of MIDI hardware that you are sending into Studio One. Most of us probably don't need a send to set a send to port, however. Finally, you've got split channels and default instrument input. input. And default instrument input is one that I generally tell folks to go ahead and tick the box next to. And the reason for that is if you've only got one MIDI device, then you can just simply set default instrument input. And that way, you know that that's always going to be the default default instrument. Now Studio One will automatically catch usually all the MIDI data coming into an instrument track from all the devices connected to it, but you can choose to send different MIDI data from different devices into instrument tracks in Studio One if you would like. We'll talk about that later in instrument tracks, but in my case I only have one device. I'm going to set default instrument input. Then I'll hit OK to close the dialog box for that, and then I'll close the dialog box for setting up my MIDI device. And now my MIDI device is set up and ready to go, and I can start recording virtual instruments and other MIDI data in Studio One. So there you have it, guys. That is a look at how to set up the MIDI devices inside of Personas Studio One, and I hope that you found it useful. As always, if you'd like to learn how to use Personas Studio One and Personas Audio Hardware and Software one-on-one -on -one in real time with a professional digital audio trainer, give us a call at Obedia, and you can work with us to help tame your technology because that's what we do best here at Obedia. As always, everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. 
Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.